Hey, I'm here at Construction Junction in East Liberty, and this place is a little hidden gem that you guys should all check out. I'm gonna show you today some of the things that you can find here to incorporate into your design and for your remodel. So this is um, totally cool. This is what I'm talking about. These sheets here are an old bowling alley and you can actually see over here is the bowling alley return. Um, these could be turned into a lot of really cool things. Um, I'm looking for a tabletop that we can put on casters to move around, um, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that you can find here at Construction Junction. So tip for the day, not everybody can afford an interior designer. So um, this is a great way to come in here and figure out how to reuse things and repurpose it. At your home right now, you could probably redo the entire thing without having to buy a single piece and make it look completely different. So that's my tip of the day, get creative and um, reuse what you have. When we were remodeling the jail, we found um, that we had a lot of extra original six panel solid wood doors and we kept them set aside. Um, I'm here in Construction Junction now trying to find a couple more because we're gonna do an accent wall of the doors laying horizontally going up the wall on one of the walls at the jail. So that's one of the things that I'm doing here is checking out doors. So check this out. You have a 60 inch vanity here that normally from Home Depot you would get for $600 retail. Here it's $100 and it comes with the side splashes and the backsplash. Great deals here. As you can see, there's a rainbow assortment of toilet colors here. So as you all know, I like some weird things. Um, one of the things that we've done is we purchased a whole bunch of woo, mannequin arms that we're gonna have hanging out the, wind, or out the door um, to hang your coat on when you first come into the jail. So um, I might pick up a couple of these full-size mannequins too while I'm here. So when you come to stores like this and you find these, you know, beautiful big chunks of stone, there's a couple finished countertops too I'll show you. They're really hard to work, make them smaller or larger to fit your space. They have to be cut by a professional fabricator with a um, water jet saw. So I don't recommend coming in and buying a piece like this unless you're gonna pay to have it reworked. So I don't know if you guys know this about me, but prior to me being a full-time real estate agent, I ran a granite fabrication shop. Um, I grew up with stone in my blood. Um, and this is one of the examples I was telling you about earlier, that it's not easy to remake a piece like this. Now, in this case here, I'm gonna make a wild guess that there was one too many holes that were drilled or it was off center. So when a fabricator makes a piece and it's drilled wrong, there's no filling it. It's um, start over, redo, and it gets trashed. So that's how this one ended up here. Um, this is a really nice piece of stone, and this is probably one of the more usable ones that you could buy if you had the base to sit down um, on top of it. But on the other side over here, you'll see that there's an actual countertop layout, and the chances of you being able to make it work are pretty slim. So Construction Junction gives a second life to all of these old pieces and really helps decorators, architects to be able to pull time gone by styles back and re-up, I want to say upcycle them is a better word, um, re reusing them, bringing them back to their former glory and then some. So you never know what's going to be in your basement that you can upcycle or reuse and repurpose into something really cool. So check out your attics and your closets and you might find a hidden gem somewhere. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.